since the release of the Expendables 4 trailer, I thought let me do a ranking of all the Expendable movies within the franchise and to be honest, there's only three of them. So this should, be, should not be a long video at all. At number three, I have Expendables 3, which came out 2014. And according to me, this is by far the worst one out of all of them. Yes, you have a massive ensemble of cast. However, having a budget of what was it, $90 million and having a range of actors, including Antonio Banderas, Mel Gibson, Wesley Snipes and many more. This film fell very short because of two main reasons, a PG-13 rating and a lack of strong language. Those were the two things that made the 80s, 70s and even 90s action films so iconic and that's what the Expendables franchise was all about. It was meant to be a trip down memory lane and unfortunately bringing in a director who was very young but didn't understand the culture of the 80s and 90s and 70s action culture. It just didn't work well. Having Mel Gibson as the villain was actually a great choice but unfortunately his role didn't have much depth to it. And Barney Ross who's played by Sylvester Stallone assembles a younger generation of talent and even then there was no need to even have them. I would rather watch a 80 year old Jason Statham as opposed to having a fully fledged prime Ronda Rousey. At number two, I have Expendables 2, which came out 2012. This film had a budget of $100 million. And the reason why I put it at number two and not number one is because although it had a very polished look compared to the first one, which was very gritty, strong language, once again, I just love the idea of having strong language in action movies. I don't know why, it's just something personal for me. It had a polished look. Great action set pieces. Although I put this in the number two, it's a very close matchup with the first film. The action wasn't chaotic. It was planned, concise, great cast, including Chuck Norris, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Scott Adkins as the villains. And this movie had fun marketing, which I really enjoyed. And of course, you've got the typical one-liners, which are throwbacks to the original movies that a lot of these star actors used to star in, including Rambo, Terminator, and of course, some of the one-liners from Chuck Norris himself. And at number one, it has to be Expendables 1, which came out 2010, and that had a budget of 80 million. Don't forget, at the time of when it came out, this was revolutionary. This was basically the Avengers of action movies. Having Barney Ross played by Sylvester Stallone, who hires a group of mercenaries to overthrow a dictator in a South American country. And having a great cast of Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren. Terry Crews, Jet Li, even a cameo from Bruce Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the reason why I enjoyed it so much, and this is my personal preference, is the fact that it was directed by Sylvester Stallone himself. And if you know Sylvester Stallone, he is actually a great action director. He for me embodies what an action genre is all about and that's hectic and heavy gunfire and action set pieces. If you have watched Rambo 4 which came out 2008, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That is perhaps one of the most realistic and actually probably most violent action movies I've seen, especially within the last 10 minutes. And of course now you got Expendables 4 which is coming out September 22nd. I I'm I'm in two minds about it. First of all, it is rated R, which I'm really grateful for, and it has strong language, which I'm really grateful for. However, the director himself, who also directed Hidden Strike, which came out this year, starring Jackie Chan and John Cena, and that film had so much CGI and green screen, it fully took me out of the movie. And honestly, if you watch the trailer to Expendables 4, you can kind of see bits of that in the movie. However, I'm really hoping this film delivers. You got Eco Ways. Tony Jaw, two massive action stars from international cinema, which I'm really hoping they land the punches to make this movie epic. But we'll see what happens. When that movie comes out, I'll give another ranking of all the Expendable movies, which is only four of them once again, and we'll see where we go from there. What are your ranking for the Expendable movies, and which one is your favorite one, and why?